Hello, this is Father David, here with day 18 of the Nativity Fast 2024. Uh, Father Basil's meditation for today is entitled, The Song of Faith Breaks the Silence. And this is a meditation on, again, the uh, workings of Zacharias and Elizabeth and their child, John, and the silence that Saint Zachariah, the prophet Zechariah, endured because of his unbelief. But then when it came time to name the child, he had to write out on a tablet, his name is John. And when he wrote this out and gave it to everyone, uh, because they didn't believe, there was no one else in the family that was named that, uh, his tongue was loosed and his belief was made evident and he was able to speak. And uh, Father Basil, for this uh, meditation, quotes, from the Vespers for the Nativity of the Forerunner on June 24th. And the line that he quotes is, uh, he announced to him uh, the good news, and he became the voice of the word, the forerunner of the light. He became the voice of the word. Now, of course, the word, capital W, is uh, one of the titles for the second person of the Holy Trinity, the Word of God, the Son of God, our Lord in the flesh, known as Jesus Christ. Uh, and yet it is the forerunner who has now become the voice of the Word. So a play on this word, Word. Of course, we hear him called this on Pascha night. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, this is, of course, imagery from the Old Testament, because God, Yahweh, the God of Israel, in the Old Testament, whom we call the Father, we say in the Creed, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. The Father is the one God, and the Father has his word and his breath, like a human being. Word and breath will often work together. The breath pushes the word out, and the word gives the breath form and meaning. And when we talk of the Old Testament, the word, of course, it says, my word will go out from me, God says, and it will not return to me without accomplishing what I desire. So God gives his word all of the power and authority and creativity to do exactly what the speaker, God the Father, wills. Everything that the Father can do, he gives to his word to do. And it is that breath, the same word in the Old Testament as spirit, that proceeds out from him eternally. The breath, the spirit of the Lord hovers over the waters in Genesis chapter 1, and the word comes out, let there be light, and there was light. So we have this imagery of the one God and Father speaking and breathing over his creation, and that breath and that word are alive. And so Saint John, both Zacharias, the prophet Zacharias, and the prophet and forerunner and Baptist John, have the opportunity to become the voice of the word. This is not only something for them, but for us as well. The psalmist says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. A struggle to tame the tongue as St. James the Apostle says in his epistle in the New Testament, no man can tame the tongue for it is an unruly evil, and a fire setting ablaze. You know, how, how, how great a forest can be uh, set ablaze by such a small spark. And so this is uh, for us the opportunity to bring our words into alignment with the words of God to bring our words and our mouths and our voices in alignment with what God would say and do and be within the world, that our entire life would be a word of God. This is how we can cooperate with God, is to allow our understanding, our words, our deeds to become voices of the word in this world that needs to hear 
that presence of God. So may we, as we continue on, take in this meditation today that we would be voices of the word, that we would quiet our own chattering minds and mouths and learn to listen to that which God is saying to us so that we would have something beautiful and worthy and uh, humble and, 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 and servile in the sense of lifting up other people in service and in humility, that our words would be voices of the word and to the glory of God the Father. So the Lord God bless you. Lord willing, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.